Alright guys, you'll notice a uh, lack of presence in the driveway. It is because, unfortunately, last night I sold the Mark 1. How do you feel about that, Ross? That's sad, Nick. Yeah, it is. A little bit. I'm just fucking kidding. I'm never selling that thing. It's in the garage now. It gets to be warm for the winter. The Honda has to sit outside. Uh, we got another cool hood mod coming up for you guys today. We're going to cut a big ass hole in it right in front of the air intake and then I'm actually going to uh, vacuum bag and mold a carbon fiber hood scoop and it's going to be a giant pain in the ass to do but we're going to do it for all you nice people because you're all so nice and so grateful of what we do so appreciative you only have nice things to say you think we're very funny and Every single one of you is just just one of the nicest people, some of the nicest people on on the planet, wouldn't you agree? So uh, let's go cut a big ass hole in the hood. All right, so this should be cool because we're gonna be uh, not only fuck, you know introducing nice cold air to our cold air intake for maximum boost. Uh, we'll be watering the battery when it rains, and that's a pretty good thing to do, I've heard. There's water in it. True. So we might as well put some more, like, on top of it, right? Yeah. That nice L bracket that has absolutely no business being there. Why? I think you might not be able to tighten it all the way down without that in there. Bull fucking shit. Watch. That was, it wasn't even on there tight to begin with. Is yeah, the inventor tight. of hose clamps it's watches tight. this video, stop making them with flat head screws. Just stop. <laughs> Put a fucking Phillips screw on there and make everyone's life easier. You know what's hilarious is this is an 8 mil socket. True. But we don't have any sockets. No, that's tight, dude. That was there for no purpose. Sweet, dude. See, look at that. That's on there. And there's two of them, actually. So that's great. Oh, two hose clamps? Yeah, put together. I feel like someone dug this out of a junkyard and put it in. Wouldn't you? I definitely would, yeah. I would. Alright. Woo! Oh, baby! Yeah, I think we could chop like an inch off of that and still be good. I don't know. Or should we just go roll with it the way it is and... We should run no filter. Yeah, let's not do that. I like how there's metal shit on the inside of it, like yeah. it's free floating. Just put like a legging over the end of it. Napkin. <laughs> <laughs> Paper towel and a hair tie. Oh yeah. That would work good. Alright, we're gonna have a quick discussion here about suspension. Someone said that this strut is not blown and it's because there's no washer holding it down. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. No washer on this one, right? But it's staying down. Let me tell you something, friends. If you can do this... All it takes is a rubber mallet to push your strut down. It's fucking blown. It is a blown strut. Ross, can you confirm that for us? I'm gonna confirm that. Alright, sweet. I'm an armchair mechanic. I think I know what we're talking about. I don't know. Alright, here's the mark for approximately where we're going to cut it. How many times did you measure that? Uh, once. Okay, sweet. I should measure it like five million times, so we're right, but fuck it. It's not like it's going to matter. Even if it's over the fucking no. throttle body itself, I'll put a hood scoop on it. Why not? Sounds good. Carbon fiber, dude? We might as well just make a hood scoop and not cut a hole in the hood and put it on anyway. That'd be ricey. That'd be ricey as fuck. But we're actually gonna do it real. Yeah, we're actually doing something like purposeful. It seems strange for this car. Alright guys, here's our scientifically found ideal spot to be cutting this hole can't really see it on camera there's a square right there also we kind of sent the whole uh, 
molding it with the vacuum bag set up out the window and we're just going to mold it directly on the hood. But it'll still be cool, it'll still be a real carbon fiber hood scoop and it'll be like, like the most legitimate thing on this car. It'll actually be a hood scoop scooping air to the intake. What are we doing, dude? I, I don't know. This isn't supposed to be what we're this doing. This is legitimate. Like, this is what we would do on something like... That's not a Honda Accord. Yeah. Yeah. And that's actually fast. Yeah. But in all seriousness, this is fast. Like, it is fast as fuck, dude. You go like 230 miles an hour. Yeah, dude. <laughs> dude, I don't know what's funny. It is... Le- it has literally gone 230 miles an hour multiple times. Oh, yeah. And the wing with the maximum downforce these days, like, honestly, that's conservative. Because, you know, the speedometer stops at, like, 120 or whatever. With the wing now, it could probably go 270. Oh, I can see it. Let's run this in the Sun Valley Road Rally next year. Oh, man. I don't think it'll be alive then, but, you know, whatever. Or past tech. This is the... Uh, sweet angle grinder that we have to work with. Sorry, it's a cutoff tool. Brennan failed to mention that it has a one and a half inch wheel on it, so... Dude, that, that's like a half inch wheel. That massive ass thing. Well, it was like diameter. Oh. Like, that's probably I'm one thinking and like half actual across. cutting like, no, yeah, surface that's, we that's like less. That's like three eighths. <laughs> some horse shit, but you know. Uh, if push comes to shove, we'll bust out the uh, almighty... Carlson Brothers, but owned by Ross Sawzall, that uh, has cut so many things off in this fucking channel. <laughs> He's done the Steve's exhaust, I assume. Yep. It did the Steve's roof. Yep. Did my exhaust. We're at the trusty Home Depot once again. Pink foam, dude. All right. Well, this is what we're gonna make the kind of the shape of the hood scoop of, and then we're gonna mold the carbon fiber around that. Uh, I don't have anything thicker. Well, they do, but I don't need to spend thirty-two dollars on an eight-foot-long piece. Well, let's just grab that and run. <laughs> if anybody wants to buy me a Christmas present, this uh, <laughs> this will do. <laughs> Brennan is finally back, taking five ever, and then, well I guess that means it's time to cut a hole. Alright, that's plenty of hole. Are you going to do the cutting? Sure. First right. time for everything. We're back. That huge cutoff wheel is going to be really nice and convenient. Twenty thousand RPM, almost as high as my Honda goes. Oh, you took the rust off. You're right. You're right. Filmer, filmer. You want to explain who that is, or you're just gonna be a douche about it? That's my girlfriend. All right. Shield makes it fucking impossible to see where you're cutting. Fucking boosted again, dude. Is that like the 800th bottle of boosted you've bought? Bitch, you might be. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> you didn't cut all the way through. Hey. Get the mallet. I like how we're gonna have to cut that. Or should we not the extra rice? I kinda want to not. <laughs> well, that went well. Maybe now shape it, yeah. In there. Oh god, don't hit my fingers, fuck. Yes. Dude. Oh, it's to get That's yeah. perfect. This is the end of part one, and possibly there will be a part two? Possibly? Possibly. Alright guys, hit subscribe to see if there's a part two. See what happens with Steve and Ross. Maybe he'll strip for you guys on his stripper pull. Oh! Oh shit! Alright guys, we'll see you in the next video. This video is car. The video goes to Jorge Avalos for his GSR swapped Honda Civic. You guys are really putting my Honda to shame with all of these cool ones. Make sure you like us at Facebook at B Carlson Autos. Submit your entry for car. The video to curse forever help at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram at bigb1011 and click on the left side of the screen to subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and stick around for part two. Pop the hood, home. All right, guys, welcome to part two. We hope you guys enjoyed the last video. We're just going to cut this out real quick. I know. I got to go flip a breaker. All right, you ready? Yeah. Hold on. You should pull your car forward like 10 feet. Dude, there's like so much more hose in there. There's a breaker I need to like switch. Damn it, damn it. All right, hit it up. Oh my God. Just, yeah, just cut the length of it and it's good. I'm gonna try, I don't know. There's no like room. I was like, it's smoking already. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, there's no right. Do it faster. Okay. I got this. Right. Oh, that's the way to go. Maybe Ross will strip for you guys. All right, see you guys in the next video. Definitely check out Skateboarding Made Simple. It's super, super detailed, and it will take you through every step of every one of these tricks. So yeah, check it out at BrailleSkateboarding.com. Thanks a lot for all your help and support, and don't forget to subscribe.